on share with you uh, our subject today is to uh, run uh, solar steel performance model first of all you have to after first of all open your uh, MATLAB uh, environment try to go to your uh, or specify your folder from here your drive working folder okay going to your uh, folder okay and uh, and click here uh, sort by name and the group by type in order to organize everything and uh, let's go and double clicking here okay uh, this is our main model it's solar steel model but in performance mode uh, therefore we, ha we have to discover uh, heat transfer coefficients what is our thermal um, uh, heat transfers inside or outside the solar steel and uh, you have to set your simulation time into zero going to view model browser check all of this now our model uh, is, is ready uh, for uh, running okay uh, what we have here double clicking okay you you will find your parameters here as you can see and uh, let's um, uh, see what we can do about this okay first of all uh, in case you are going to change your uh, parameter limitations i mean by uh, for example for solar radiation it's limitation from 100 what parameters were up to uh, 1200 uh, 1, so you can uh, right click on your mother block or main block going to the mask and edit mask in edit mask you can change and going to parameter uh, as you can see emphasize this is your uh, solar flux or solar radiation so you can go to minimum or maximum and you, you can change this change this value uh, as you would like okay I will keep this and you can do this for the list of your parameters you can change okay um, suppose I have this uh, input parameters I, I need to discover the effect of solar flux and um, I would set my average uh, ambient temperature inlet water temperature average wind speed uh, flow rate okay dimensions this, these are your uh, dimensions and you can choose between uh, solar steel with buffer or without buffer okay this is without buffer for example and you can set your uh, limitations and constants such as absorptivity uh, uh, emissivity and uh, transmittance okay and we have here uh, a panel or tab for uh, uh, cost analysis in, in case you're interested in costs going inside you will find uh, these are your inputs cost block and these are your outputs double clicking here and you can find your function and your code so you can copy or paste it if you would like these are your outputs so you can edit you can add more outputs by adding semicolon at the end of the function uh, matrix or at the beginning and you can um, uh, for example you can add semicolon and type your parameter okay and this uh, this is your function name and these are your uh, outputs uh, inputs I'm sorry okay we are going to discover the following let's hit run and see uh, hitting run and we have to wait as you can see for uh, convective heat flux between uh, the water and glass cover as you can see here this are your results 7.8 or 7.9 uh, evaporative heat flux uh, radiative heat uh, flux between water and glass cover and we use this these are um, entrapped heat transfer uh, parameters uh, inside the, um, uh, the solar still and we have from a glass cover to the ambient so we have uh, convection convection and radiation okay to the ambient and we have uh, uh, convection between water and uh, uh, base 
basin uh, side okay normally high because uh, 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 high temperature ranges uh, this is your yield per kilogram okay and average water temperature uh, average glass uh, cover temperature uh, basin temperature and uh, outlet estimated outlet temperature of course if you change your uh, your inputs you will find uh, or realize as, as a reflection on the, your output okay suppose I, I need to go here and uh, that's to discover our effect in case we uh, use uh, a buffers okay so you can change your buffers if you would like you can increase your buffers number of buffers okay I, I will run run it at uh, four buffers and I, I will run it in uh, time domain so I, I uh, double clicking here and let's go inside and let's see is effect on uh, uh, emphasize here so many parameters okay and don't forget to uh, double clicking and select st send to send your streams to the data inspector here in order to discover uh, our results okay and uh, suppose you need uh, your data to be stored uh, in uh, MATLAB workspace so you can go in here uh, by the way you can go in here click here and click for solar still performance and this one so you will find all outputs and inputs here so you can uh, store click on for example estimated glass cover temperature going to the description and save final value to the workspace uh, yield save final value and uh, let's go for uh, uh, some outputs uh, let's go for uh, uh, Q for example any Q here yes convection evaporative radiation uh, glass cover convection radiation uh, so the glass cover and basin uh, convection so um, hit apply and after running you will find your data uh, out here in your workspace so you can uh, double, uh, double clicking or you can use it you can do some figures and so on let's go inside again and okay I we have uh, prepared everything let's go here and uh, try to set your simulation time into infinity or whatever you would like 10 minutes or one second it's up to you 10 seconds okay I, I do prefer infinity in order to run okay I will hit run and try to uh, change uh, some parameters uh, okay hit running and see and this is your simulation time will appear here. this is your simulation time so I going here and trying to change uh, solar radiation I will increase solar radiation a little bit as you can see the effect on solar radiation okay and suppose I uh, I will increase mass flow rate if you have a feed tank or something like this okay and uh, let's uh, increase uh, inlet feed temperature up to uh, for example uh, 30 okay degrees Celsius and um, a bottoming uh, side losses let's increase it a little bit up to two for example that's enough as to okay if you go inside here click here you will find all your results are stored here okay let's go inside okay this is your second run okay and uh, this is a uh, heat heat um, uh, convection heat uh, so the glass cover uh, evaporative okay as you can as you realize the difference and uh, radiation okay or you can put uh, um, every parameter uh, in one figure or two figures it's up to you uh, okay 
uh, and the radiation through the glass cover and uh, bottling okay so as you can see you realize the effect of solar radiation and the effect of temperature and bottoming losses and so on this is yield your yield uh, based on the change in um, the input parameters uh, average water temperature uh, glass cover temperature variation and uh, basin temperature okay as you can see okay suppose I need this is at uh, four buffers suppose I need to change uh, number of buffers I will hit uh, let's prepare our pin uh, input pin okay and go inside so your uh, input pin uh, uh, is here so I will hit run again and try to change at uh, number of buffers more number of buffers we have this is your four number of buffers let's go for for example for six number of buffers okay and uh, let's go and try to uh, uh, setting our initial points okay I'm setting my initial points I'm uh, moving right or left by your cursor you can use your cursor okay uh, arrow key and uh, for uh, mass flow rate I will reduce it a little bit okay okay and this is I think uh, was one I will thin it back again up to uh, no, I'm sorry this is uh, uh, this one uh, I will use it up to down to one okay hit apply and let's hit run again and try to change uh, the input parameters and compare our runs let's hit run and see okay so let's begin from solar radiation again I, I will try to increase solar radiation up to uh, 700 for example and try to increase uh, ambient uh, inlet water temperature to the solar still as you can see here nearly uh, reaching to the final values okay and let's go for uh, okay increasing uh, feed and this is six buffers let's increase our losses up to two what okay let's stop stop and let's go inside that inspector and see and compare our results uh, okay so this is the second run and uh, we have to inspect uh, third run uh, values as you can see here as I told you uh, if you going here you will find your uh, uh, outputs in workspace going to that aspect okay let's go for convection let's go for convection here yes and compare uh, okay as you can see there is a difference because we changed we increased a uh, number of the buffers and uh, evaporative okay as you can see increasing number of buffers would increase uh, uh, the uh, convection the evaporative rate and radiation let's go for radiation uh, quite interesting and uh, convection through the glass cover to the ambient uh -huh. uh, you can realize the difference the effect of buffer on solar still it can improve the solar still um, let's go for radiation uh -huh. yes and uh, basin temperature basin uh, thermal power okay convection thermal power yes and uh, yield have to uh -huh. yield is increased as you can see so you your yield is increased because of increasing the number of buffers average water temperature surely it would increase yes and glass cover temperature and you have to wait okay yes okay and uh, this is a uh, okay as you as you you can realize the difference between two runs just because we 
have, have used uh, exceeding or we exceeded the number of buffels inside uh, the solar cell from four buffels up to uh, uh, six buffels. And you can compare without buffles and with buffles and 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 uh, with uh, ex uh, by exceeding your no the number of your buffels inside the solar cell, you can find out uh, more and more uh, 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 results. Um, sure, you can edit this one. You, you can edit. You can reform. You can edit many parameters because this is these are your inputs. You can edit many parameters. You can. Uh, search in your uh, uh, literature and try to add uh, uh, the improvement and enhancement of solar state productivity and you can add your equation and you can realize the results and the effect on a temperature or uh, uh, heat rate or thermal power rates or uh, heat transfer coefficients. If you would like to discover heat transfer coefficients, for example, uh, uh, evaporative heat transfer coefficient, watt per meter square uh, degrees Celsius. You can copy this and put it here, for example, and you will find it output here. Okay, but I I would like to disturb the uh, the organization of the model. Okay. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.